Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to multiply a two-digit number by a two-digit number. We'll go through two examples together, and then I'll give you two practice problems that you can try on your own. Let's jump into number one, where we have 46 times 32. We'll start by lining this up. So 46 times 32. And we're just lining up the places here. The six and the two are in the ones place, and then the four and the three are in the tens place. Now, once we're lined up, we multiply. And really, what we're going to be doing here is 46 times two, and then 46 times 30. And I'm saying 30 since that three in 32 is in the tens place. It has a value of 30. So we'll start with 46 times two, then we'll do 46 times 30, and then add those results to get our final answer. So looking at that two in 32, we need to start with two times six. That gives us 12. So we write our two and then carry the one. Now we have two times four. That gives us eight plus that one is nine. 46 times two is 90. Two. So we are done with this two and done with this one. I like crossing numbers off when we are done with them. That way we don't confuse them with any other numbers as we are working through the problem. It helps us stay organized. Now we have 46 times 30. So we're moving over to that three in 32, which is in the tens place. It has a value of 30. So we need a zero right here. Again, we're moving over to the three in the tens place. Technically, we're doing 46 times 30, so we need that zero there. Now we do three times six, which is 18. So we write our eight and then carry the one. Now we have three times four, which is 12, plus that one is 13. So we write our three, and then there aren't any more places to the left, so that one, comes straight down. So 46 times 30 gives us 1,380. Now we add these. So we add 92 and 1,380. 46 times two gave us 92, and then 46 times 30 gave us 1,380. So we're adding those to get our final answer. We'll start with two plus zero, that's two. Then we have nine plus eight, that's 17. Then we have one plus three, that's four. And then we have a one in the thousands place. So our final answer, 1,472. Let's move on to number two, where we have 89 times 65. So let's set this up, 89 times 65. So we need to do 89 times five and 89 times 60. Then we add those results to get our final answer. We'll start with five times nine here, which gives us 45. Carry the four. Then we have five times eight, which is 40, plus that four gives us 44. We are done with this five and done with this four. Now we move over to the tens place where we have a six. So that six has a value of 60. We need a zero right here and then we multiply. Six times nine gives us 54. So carry the five here. And then six times eight is 48 plus five is 53. And then lastly, we need to add. Now 89 times five gave us 445, and then 89 times 60 gave us 5,340. So again, now we add five plus zero is five, then we have four plus four is eight, then four plus three is seven, and then we have a five in the thousands place. So our final answer, 5,785. So those are our example problems. Let's move on to two practice problems that you can try on your own. So have 
paper, and a pencil ready. So here are your practice problems. I'll give you three minutes and then we will go over the answers. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time or jump ahead to the answers if you're ready. Go ahead and start. Okay, so that was three minutes. Let's go over the answers. So here are our answers. For number one, 52 times 27 equals 1,404. For number two, we have 78 times 49. That equals 3,822. So there you have it. There's how to multiply a two-digit number by a two-digit number. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.